Also, we want to get to our task force right now. Rick Santelli and Jason Roney of Sharma Capital are standing by at the CME Group in Chicago. And, and Rick, have you been listening to this conversation? Listening to it? I, I've been just glued to it because Mr. Ross has nailed it. You know, the, the government is promoting bad behavior because we certainly don't want to put stimulus forth and give people a whopping 8 or $10 in their check and think that they ought to save it. And in terms of modifications, I'll tell you what, I have an idea. You know, the, the new administration's big on computers and technology. How about this, President and new administration? Why don't you put up a website to have people vote on the internet as a referendum to see if we really want to subsidize the losers' mortgages, or would we like to at least buy cars and buy houses in foreclosure and give them to people that might have a chance to actually prosper down the road and reward people that could carry the water instead of drink the water? Hey, Rick, did, That's a novel idea. Hey, hey Rick, did you... What? Who oh, thought of that? Yeah. They're, 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 like putty in, they're like putty in your hands. Did you hear No, they're not, Joe. They're not like putty in our hands. This is America. How many of you people want to pay for your neighbor's mortgage that has an extra bathroom and can't pay their bills? Raise their hand. How about we all... Uh, President Obama, are you listening? How about it? we all stop paying our mortgage? It's a moral hazard. <laughs> this is like mob rule here. I'm getting scared. I'm glad I'm... I'm, glad I'm a... you guys Don't get scared, get some Joe. Bricks and They're bats. already scaring you. You know, Cuba used to have mansions and, and a relatively decent economy. They moved from the individual to the collective. Now they're driving 54 Chevys. Maybe the last great car to come out of Detroit. They're, they're driving them on water, too, which is a little strange to watch uh, at, there at times. There you go. Hey, Rick, how about the notion that... That Wilbur pointed out, you can go down to two percent on the mortgage. You can go down to minus two percent and still they can't have forty percent, and still have forty percent, not be able to do it. So why are they in the house? Why are we trying to I keep mean, them I in know the house? Mr. Summers is a great economist, but boy, I'd love the answer to that one. Jason, okay, you get yeah. Jason, you, you, you want to? We're thinking of having a I, Chicago Tea Party in July. <laughs> All you capitalists that want to show up to Lake Michigan, I'm going to start organizing. What are you dumping in? What are you dumping in this time? <laughs> How's it going to be dumping in some derivative securities? Yeah. What do you think so about Mayor that? Mayor Daley is uh, is marshaling the, the the police right now. The rabble route. Ja uh, National Guard. <laughs> Jason, are you nearby? Can you hear the cheering? I, I am, but I don't have the gallery directly behind me, so it's going to be tough to follow that act. Yeah, sure. exactly. Uh, you I'm agree. have to run down to the pit. Uh, well, clearly, we're going to debate the moral issues of what government is and is not doing uh, for for some years to come. I mean, it, it's apparent even for traders. It's it's uh, the market. It gaps up and down a significant amount each day just on what one government may or may not do. We're up 10 points or so in the S&P on, on the idea that core Europe may have some bank stability plan. So you know, the, the, the traders market, the uncertainty of the market will continue until we get through this process of weekly uh, government plans. You know, Rick, uh, one of our producers says if, if Roland Burris steps down, man, Senator Santelli, the junior senator from Illinois. It's a possibility. I'm just saying. Do you think I want to take a shower every hour? The last <laughs> place I'm ever going to live or work is D.C. Have you raised any money for Blago? <laughs> <laughs> No, but I think that somebody's going to have to start raising money for us. Hey, Rick, can you do that one more time? Just get the mob behind you again. I love it. I have the camera pull way out. Yeah, pull way out. Everybody uh, listen he to Rick Santelli. I don't think you're... You can't just do it at will, can you, Rick? Okay, I mean, you have to say something. Yeah, do it at will. Let's see. Listen, all I know is is that there's only about 5% of the floor population here right now, and I talk loud enough they can all hear me. So if you want to ask them anything, let me know. These guys are pretty straightforward, and my guess is a pretty good statistical cross-section of America, the silent majority. Not so silent majority. Yeah, not today. so silent. So, so it, it, Rick, are they opposed to the housing thing, to the stimulus package, to everything out there? You know, they're pretty much of the notion that you can't buy your way into prosperity and if the multiplier that all of these Washington economists are selling us is over one that we never have to worry about the economy again the government should spend a trillion dollars an hour because we'll get 1.5 trillion back Wilbur? Rick I congratulate you on your new incarnation as a revolutionary leader <laughs> Somebody needs one. I'll tell you what, if you read our fa founding fathers, people like Benjamin Franklin and Jefferson, th what we're doing in this country now are, is making them roll over in their graves. All right, Rick, we're going to check back in with you in 15 minutes when we get some of the data out. Jason, thank you very much. Thank of you. course, uh, Wilbur staying with us.